What's up y'all? Cal's Beak here. Just wanting to give you a little bit of information about multi-view drawings or orthographic projection uh, so we can help understand a little bit more about how to draw an object in multiple views. So this is a good idea that a professor, a good professor from NC State of mine uh, taught me so I'm going to use it to teach you. Uh, so here we have an object. This is just a platform that it's sitting on. But here we have an object. Uh, it is three-dimensional. It's got a hole in the top and a bunch of other edges. So first we need to determine uh, what our front view is going to be. So because I can see most of the contours, uh, I'm going to actually use this as my front view. And we're going to use this as the side view, this is the top view. So what I'm going to do is we're going to envision that we have an invisible box that's going to fit on top of this object. This is going to help us to understand what orthographic projection is. So if you look into the front view, you'll see a bunch of edges in here of my object. And those edges project straight to this face. Okay, This is our invisible box. This is our plane that we're wanting to project our image onto. So we have a whole bunch of edges back here that all get projected to this plane. That's our front plane. Okay, If I turn this to the side, we now have our side view. This is our side plane. And our three-dimensional object, all of our edges here, are going to get projected onto this surface. So now we have our side view. And if we go up here and we do our top view, and we look in here, our top view, if we were to project, I know it's not perfect, but if we were to project our edges straight up, then we now have our top view. So now the trick is trying to draw this on paper. So if we're trying to draw this now on paper, here's where we're going to take away our object. We're left with our projections that we just projected. I always start with the front view. The front view is a good place to start. So here we have our front view. If that's drawn, I'm going to try and move it so you can see it. Here we have a front view. So now I'm going to move from my front view and drawing that, and I'm going to create my top view. I know it's kind of hard to see, but here, if I put it in the background, you can kind of sort of see it. There we go. Now we have a top view. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move from my front view here and I'm going to create a side view. So now we have a fold out of our top front and right side multi view sketches. So this is the proper way that we want to lay out our top front and right side views which are our primary views. This is just a good way to lay them out. So use this trick and uh, envisioning a, a box around your object to help you understand how to create a multi-view drawing. You can use those tips and tricks to um, help you understand or gain a deeper understanding of, of um, orthographic projection. So there you go. There you have it. I hope you have a better understanding.